the Director of Communications at State House and the Deputy Director of Information, Mr. Arthur Chibenda. We are here this morning to provide an update as ordered by His Excellency the State President last night when he made um, an address to the nation on the situation that we have. The President did indicate that he has ordered, he has directed the Malawi Defense Force to be giving regular updates to the nation with regards to the ongoing search and rescue operations. I will therefore give the floor to the commander of the MDF to give us an update and thereafter uh, we'll take it from there. Over to you, uh, General. Um, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister. <clears throat> and I want to start uh, by uh, <clears throat> presenting my salutation in this manner. Uh, to you, the Honorable Minister, uh, Honorable Kunkuyu, Minister of Information. And I want to ride on the back of uh, the protocols that have been advanced by uh, the Minister of Information. That basically is in the interest of time. In terms uh, of uh, this morning's presentation, on the progress of the search of the missing aircraft, I want to look at it from the perspectives of three areas. The three areas will cover the following strands. The first strand is about the progress that has been made so far. The second strand will involve the support that we are getting uh, from within and beyond. And finally, I'll talk about uh, the coordination that has been put in place as a mechanism to control chaos in terms of information budget. On the first strand, which is about the progress uh, of the search, nothing as yet uh, concerning the missing aircraft has been found. The search, however, is still continuing in the area where it is believed the aircraft might have crashed. The search to locate the missing aircraft is being conducted by us, the MDF, and we have troop strength of a company plus, which is close to 200 soldiers. With us doing the search, we have personnel from the Malawi Police Service, personnel from the Civil Aviation, and personnel from the Forestry Department who work in the forest of Chikangawa. Challenges during the search that are obtaining include the terrain itself, which is very rugged and also thick, because this is a part which is not inhabited. Secondly, uh, this morning, there was also um, bad weather conditions. The area has been foggy, and that visibility was reduced. Our troops were on the ground uh, throughout the night, and uh, despite these challenges, they are soldiering on so that they can be able to locate the aircraft. The other challenge that uh, is obtaining um, is also a huge volume of interferences from other people that are not within the area and have no information but want to actually uh, be on top of what is obtaining. We want to discourage this. The third, uh, the, the second strand of the um, briefing is to brief the nation 
uh, on the support. We have support uh, from neighboring countries, which of course, some of it is not on the site as yet or in the location as yet, and some of it is still on the way. And this is from the neighboring countries, as I've said, and, and beyond. The assets that uh, have been placed for the search are in the form of aircraft, that is both fixed wing and rotor wing, which are helicopters, and also other imagery gadgets like UAVs, or I can mention that uh, they are in the form of drones. Within Malawi, we have also other organizations that have come to actually uh, support the MDF with their assets. These include um, First Capital Bank, they have their own aircraft. We also have a team uh, from MAST which have uh, drones and uh, actually supported us with a team, a drones team. On the third strand, which is about coordination, the coordination is being done, sorry, by Malawi Defense Force. And we want to encourage that all those that would want to claim or obtain information should actually contact MDF. MDF in this regard has coordinating points at the MDF headquarters, at uh, Lilongwe Air Force Base, and at Kamozo International Airport. And finally, also on the ground in Chikangawa. This arrangement is to enable information to come from one source so that we don't hear things that are deemed to be false or mere hearsay. I thought I should bring uh, the nation to have a clear understanding of what is obtaining on the ground through these areas that I've mentioned. In order to continue updating um, the nation, we are going to be having briefings of this nature every two hours so that the nation is kept abreast with any development in the search area.